South Sudan has wrapped up celebrations to mark Peace Day. A candle lighting ceremony was led by Vice President James Awani Iga. Close to 700 South Sudanese participated in the capital, Juba. The country is ushering in a new dawn following the signing of a peace deal aimed at ending five years of conflict. Many in the country are full of hope and optimism to help rebuild South Sudan. We commemorate this International Peace Day with jubilation and honor. With jubilation because less than 10 days ago, we, the people of South Sudan, signed an historic revitalized peace agreement. I prefer to call it RPA. Revitalized Peace Agreement. Certainly, this is a great cause for joy and celebration. International Peace Day commemorations in South Sudan brought much needed optimism that the newly signed peace deal will usher in new hope for the country. But a United Nations representative in the country says there's a lot to be done to ensure the peace process is not derailed. This will not be attained until there is trust between the parties and a renewed trust between the people of this young nation and their leaders. One step to achieving this will be clear evidence that the warring factions have the political will to stop fighting and to lay down their guns as they have undertaken to do. This can no longer be a hope or a dream for the people of South Sudan who have suffered for far too long. Rather, all South Sudanese have the right to peace, a right to live safely with dignity in their own homes, a right to see their children go to school and reach their full potential.